Hey YouTube, hope you guys are doing wonderful. It is finally the time of abundance. Spring is here and look at my new raised bed garden. I am just so thankful and grateful and feeling so happy. It is just so beautiful that I actually don't want to harvest. I just want to keep looking at them. I've got zinnias growing. I've got the the Portuguese um, cabbage that I can harvest just the leaves. I've got ton of lettuce growing, butter crunch lettuce. Look at the size of the butter crunch lettuce. It's huge. Let me zoom out. It's huge. This is just one head and ton of onions growing right here. So, super, super happy on how everything is growing. And I have some carrot seeds in between, just a few to experiment and see if it actually grows. So, and I can see some carrot leaves coming up at least. So. I'm hopeful. Bok choy did go to seed because we got an 80 degree day and I didn't harvest bok choy in time, but I'm okay. I'm going to harvest some seeds out of this bok choy and it just looks so beautiful. I love this yellow flowers. Look at them. Yeah, I love raised bed gardening. It makes things so much easier. Here are my peas. They are just setting out flowers now. I just saw like two flowers coming up right there. You can see one. And there's one over there. But look at the size of the leaves. I mean, it's pretty big compared to I've ever had. And I like this tomato cage um, setup that I have got going because everything else did not work this good. It's trellising up the tomato cage so beautifully. Look at that. It's using all that wire and climbing is excellent. It's just, it's going really well. And this is, I think the purple variety, super excited to see this variety. Uh, this is the Sweet MP. Not great germination, pretty much nothing over here, but that's okay. You know, I will plant something else. I am trying to grow everything everywhere, not just one thing in one place. So I have a variety growing and look at this. I've got a chili growing in, this is 1st of April. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. I started these in January, I think first or second week, and I've got peppers growing already. And this has never happened. I would not get peppers until August or September because it gets so hot here um, that pretty much the peppers stop growing and they don't produce until like fall. And then I have like super, super duper harvest in fall and and then they die because you know it's winter in a couple of months so don't get a really good harvest but this year i think i'm going to do good by starting the pepper plants inside and giving them a good time to start over here i have more spinach like i guess again over here more spinach it's a lot of spinach this is almost a box full of, Costco box full of spinach, you know? So again, more spinach, spinach, spinach and lettuces. This is some kind of mix, lettuce mix. Has some chard, I think, and then oak leaves and other type of lettuce growing. So lots of lettuce. Now I have to figure out, um, some nice yummy dressing recipes and um, make some good 
lettuce and the weather is warming up finally so i love to eat a good lettuce in warm weather so super excited see there's more lettuce coming up and this is just me sprinkling a few lettuce seeds here and there so easy to grow these are all chili plants that i've been growing indoors they're all different varieties all of them are mostly flowering or very soon flowering right there a little baby chili growing and behind that is cilantro more cilantro I have another bed growing which full of cilantro this is one of the Indian small eggplant variety flowers more tomato plants I'm going to plant these weekend uh, find more space for the tomato plants to go in some Indian chilies that outgrew the growing area so I am putting them in the dirt this is for my friend I'm just holding them and then over here I have planted okra I've just added the seeds okras I do direct sow and um, I'm hopeful that they will take off now I don't have any rain coming so I may have to water these guys every other day so they can get a good start um this is potatoes look at this i have never grown potatoes this successful my rabbits always get the potatoes and nothing ever grows so super excited about potatoes look at this potato bed it's all coming up everywhere potato 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 so some varieties are not that great compared to certain varieties and this variety definitely did a great job and i do have some lettuce because you know I was not sure if the potatoes would come up or not so I did add some lettuce seeds and it's going to be fine because the potatoes will kind of shade out the lettuce so and that will help lettuce not turn bitter so that is going to be great again more peppers these are all peppers and like I said they're all flowering We've got many flowers setting on them beautiful flowers bees are doing great job earlier I was here and there were so many bees on them more flowers and more flowers there and the zinnia growing this is early Jersey cabbage my first time growing this variety um, next time I'm just going to plant seeds direct sow them instead of starting them inside and then bringing them outside i think um just directly would be better i had onion um that was going bad in the house so i decided to bring that outside and just put it here and let this go into seed and i can save some seeds from this onion um over here i have more chilies more chilies and uh, big eggplants like the uh i think it's called the black beauty eggplants these are those so i want those big eggplants that i can make um eggplant parmesan with so that's what that is and look at this i think it is a jalapeno or some kind of big chili plant let's see this is pimento pepper so pimento is already putting out pimentos and more chilies, more flowers, flowers, and, and it's just doing fabulous. Lots of chilies. Again, I said this is all potatoes. And look at my Queen of Malincano flowers. So many flowers, so many flowers it's going crazy now if you have tried growing tomatillos that you have not been successful try growing more than one plant and that's the key it does have a lot of bug damage this particular plant does uh, some of them have less compared to this one but it'll be fine i'm hoping and i have planted so many so um I think they'll be okay. And look at the amount of flowers they've got. So many flowers. More flowers.
flowers here. I had a lot of aloe vera that died because of the winter storm we got. And I just threw it over here. Uh, it's gonna keep this area mulched and um, just good compost. And more tomatillos, more tomatillos, flowers, tomatillos, tomatillos. And then I've got tomatoes on the other side. of tomatoes so that's all YouTube just wanted to show you guys my garden update my vegetable garden update I will make another video and show you guys um, how my um, fruit trees are looking and uh, I have great news so stay tuned thank you guys